My name is Jeremy Gordon Grinnell. I was, 10 years ago, a successful professor at a local seminary, a pastor at a growing church in the area. And over the course of 10 months, I destroyed my life. In a kind of a hideous cocktail of bad choices, I found myself in a 10-month emotional affair that pretty much destroyed me. A few months in, I was clinically depressed, suicidal, uh, lost a fifth of my body weight. And by the end, it, it, it only took about 15 seconds for me to destroy everything I'd worked for. And the thing is, I'm not alone. Everywhere we go, we hear stories of people whose lives get thrown away, not because they're horrible people, not because they're serial criminals, but because they found themselves in a bad situation and made bad choices. Sometimes, a single unforgivable choice. And I wonder to myself, who is going to speak for them? Who tells people with self-inflicted wounds how to put their life back together? How to go on living? How to have a life that's, well, though different, you don't get it all back, but a life that's still good and a life that's filled with beautiful things. Who can do that? I think, I think I can. I think I have. I hope I have. I put my life back together. I have spent 10 years putting my marriage and my family back together. I started my own business. I became a professional audiobook narrator. I went back to my old college theater roots and became a community theater actor again. Uh, in short, I became a, a, a useful member of society again. I rebuilt my life. I was lucky. A lot of people can't. A lot of people aren't given the chance. Most people simply fade away to the margins of society and are forgotten. They lose hope. Maybe in a worse case, they reoffend and create more victims. And so I've spent a lot of time thinking about this and have decided that if we really care about victims, we have to care about perpetrators too. Because when we leave people without hope, without paths for redemption, without ways to redeem themselves and become productive members of society again, they lose hope. And hopeless people do bad things. And they create more victims. I think we have to give people the chance to reclaim their lives. That's why I wrote The Bellowing of Cain. It's a book written to people with self-inflicted wounds. It's meant to give hope to people who've thrown it all away. And I've had to spend a lot of time thinking about how does one face one's victims? How does one come to terms with the evil that you've done? How do you survive? How do you grow through self-inflicted trauma? My editor, when I put the manuscript in his hands, he looked it over and he said, Jeremy, there's nothing like this on the market. Nothing like this exists. And with his help, we were able to put the thing in front of uh, a number of the top literary agents in the country. And their feedback was unanimous. They all looked at it and said, you're right, this is a remarkable book. There's nothing like it. It's, it's useful. It's helpful. It's raw. It's, it's candid. It's honest. We're looking to put the bellowing of Cain into the hands of people who've wrecked their lives or are in peril of doing so. We really appreciate your help in telling this story. Thank you.